Japan experienced a massive earthquake with a magnitude of 9.0 on March 11, 2011. Seas within a radius of 130 kilometers turned into a vast expanse of water. Not only that, the earthquake generated a 15-meter high tsunami, which instantly engulfed the entire Fukushima nuclear power plant. This resulted in the release of nuclear waste into the ocean. At that moment, unaware of the impending danger, the power plant workers were preparing to leave after a busy day of work. Just as Mike turned around to look behind him, he suddenly noticed something strange near the seaside not far away. But being nearsighted, he couldn't see clearly. So Mike asked his colleague next to him to look towards the seaside as well. When the three of them looked towards the seaside, they saw a tsunami several tens of meters high approaching them. Realizing the danger, their colleagues hurriedly pulled the bewildered Mike and ran towards the land. Any hesitation could have resulted in being engulfed by the seawater. Despite the efforts of the power plant employees to escape outside, ultimately, none of them survived as they were all drowned by the water. Meanwhile, inside another section of the nuclear power plant, two workers were conducting safety checks on the machinery. Unaware that the outside had become a vast expanse of water, just as Ross was descending the stairs, a large amount of seawater seeped in from behind. Immediately, the pressure pipes above his head began to violently shake. The next second, the seawater burst through the valves and rushed in from the outside. Ross quickly grabbed his teammate and ran towards the direction of the elevator. But just as the elevator doors closed, an electrical leak occurred inside the power plant due to the seawater. The two of them were trapped inside the elevator. Despite Ross's continuous pounding on the glass door, the glass was unbreakable. With the arrival of the second wave of the tsunami, the elevator was submerged by the seawater. Eventually, both of them drowned. Meanwhile, in the control room of the nuclear power plant, the responsible personnel noticed something was amiss, and the water level in reactor number one was rapidly rising, reaching an alarming height of 960 millimeters. If it continued like this, a leak in the reactor was likely to occur. The person in charge immediately ordered the isolation condenser system of the power plant to be shut down. Although the water level was temporarily relieved, they neglected a crucial point. They did not check the surveillance footage. The cause of everything was the tsunami engulfing the power plant. But the person in charge mistakenly believed it was a machine malfunction. The next moment, all the electronic devices in the control room lost power. If the nuclear power plant stopped operating, it would lead to an unprecedented disaster. Realizing the dire situation, the workers intended to start the emergency procedure by activating the diesel generator. However, when they reached the equipment, they found that the fuel tank was already empty, as the diesel had been washed away by the seawater. Immediately after, the control room experienced a complete power outage. This unprecedented tsunami caused 90% of Japan's nuclear power plants to shut down. Without electricity support, it could likely lead to unrest among the residents. Thus, the government held an emergency meeting. They had to find every possible way to restart the nuclear power plants, even if it meant sacrificing lives in order to ensure public safety. But sometimes, higher-ranking officials can cause fatal mistakes. After formulating the restart plan, the superiors immediately contacted the respective nuclear power plant authorities and ordered Chris to restore the power within 24 hours. Otherwise, he would bear the consequences under the forceful command of the higher-ups. Chris had no choice but to arrange for his subordinates to conduct repairs inside the nuclear power plant. The reactor had experienced a leak, and radiation levels had reached a critical point, posing great danger to humans. Despite the orders, they had to proceed with the repairs. 